Hi, welcome to the unboxing and review of the Ferrari remote control car. Okay, without further ado, let's um, get this open. So let's take a look around this now. Um, for a start, I can already feel it's a really good quality feel to it. Um, the, the type of plastic and the finish on it um, is noticeable. Um, it's also a really good size. Um, some of the uh, remote control cars can come up a bit small, but this, as you can sort of see, is um, a good size. It's a really nice shape Ferrari, um, and it's, uh, it's, been done, it's been reproduced really, really well here. Um, if I just sort of show you all angles. Um, and this also brings me on to the next point, the attention to detail. If you can see the amount of different um, elements to it where you've got like the logos and the fonts and the different colors used um, here's inside the the engine so we'll see in there you've got the alloys with the um, the, the yellow logo in the middle um, and also the uh, red um, brake discs there you can see the sporty ones okay this really does look a mean car It'll, uh, it'll help make you uh, drive it a bit more safely because you don't want to damage it or, or beat it up. So let's look inside now. So the, the uh, doors clip up, as you can see there. You've got some red sporty interior going on as well. As you can see it looks particularly nice. Um, and also even the steering wheel's got the uh, yellow logo in the middle. Okay, um, it's just a, a point to note while I'm on the door is that to close it, there is <laughs> just pushing it down won't really do it, it'll still stay open. But there is just a clip at the bottom, so if you push it down from here, it clicks into place just on this um, clip here. Okay, um, and the other thing you might notice this um, flap keeps coming down, um, so there is a point to note on this as well. This looks like um, one of those catches where you just pull under. Um, and it will stay but it's not at all um, what you'll need to do is just take a, a small coin and actually lock it into place as well and that stops it from coming open anymore so it's worth bearing in mind if you do buy this yeah you've got the on and off switch there um, and as you saw there was it took um, five batteries so that's five AA batteries this takes in there um, and also the, um, the remote control which is here, that takes two AA batteries, which you can see in there. Um, and talking about the remote control, like I said, the aerial just does a twist in, nice and easy. Um, and it is uh, basic in design, it is a plastic feel to it, uh, four back, left and right. Um, but it is pretty much what you want from a controller. Um, and again, it's not too small in the hands, you can, can control it quite nicely from there. Um, so now we've got all that covered um, obviously the, uh, the the exciting bit is to go and get some batteries chucked into it and uh, give it a road test so we'll, we'll move on to that now
The look of this car is its best feature. It does a really good job of replicating this model of Ferrari. It's got a really nice bold glossy finish and there's lots of attention to detail such as the small Ferrari emblems as you can see spotted all around it. Um, it's got some squishy rubber tyres which are good. Um, so it's kind of got air in there. Um, it's got front and rear suspension as you can see. Um, the, the attention to detail in the interior is nice. Um, as well as the butterfly doors as you can see um, raising up. Um, they're well put together as well um, and the uh, the rear panel to look through to the engine as you can see there uh, which is a really nice touch to help carry it off. I'm pleased um, both the front and the rear lights both light up because um, they help carry off the look of the Ferrari um, and the wing mirrors if I can just show you um, are made of rubber rather than um, plastic. Um, if you can imagine them being plastic um, they wouldn't last very long so I'm sure it would have cost more to manufacture them in rubber but of course um, otherwise it would have just snapped off so it's good that they're um, made in rubber. With regards to performance I would pitch this as mid-range. A notable sound when the wheels are being turned even without the, the motor um, moving them so I'm not quite sure why that is and it also hasn't got progressive turning so when you turn left or right it literally does turn the, the whole wheel um, rather than sort of adjusting to how much you're, you're turning left or right. Um, the speed of the uh, the car is fairly quick it's advertised at 5.1 miles per hour so it beats some of the cheaper remote control cars um, but it equally doesn't keep, compete with the higher end ones. Um, and finally the, um, the remote control range is up to 98 feet which uh, should be plenty long enough for you to use um, it's generally all round uh, really easy to set up for all types of ages so it's just literally put the batteries in and off you go well I hope you found that helpful and if so please do click the like and subscribe buttons and if you're thinking about buying this then there's a link to it in my description below I also have lots more videos and regularly upload new ones so please subscribe to check them out and I look forward to you joining me next time